Hey my yarn lovers, I'm Gary and I'm coming to you from Vancouver, Canada. I'm creating this podcast, uh, YouTube channel, to uh, talk about my yarn experiences, uh, investigate certain uh, purchases, uh, unboxing, yarn hauls, finished works and works in progress. So I hope you'll enjoy the channel and um, join me in my experiences. I have to confess, I only picked up knitting uh, March of this year, which is 2019. We are now in September, so a good six months ago. So you have to forgive me if I get my terminology incorrect. I'm still learning. Uh, YouTube has been great in explaining to me the various different language terms that are used within the knitting and crochet community. Um, so for instance, I did not know what a colorway was. I did not know what it was meant uh, when you hank a yarn, um, when you cake a yarn, what the difference between a skein was, and uh, wool fiber types, I had no idea. I am coming to you today to talk about a finished project that I did um, using a pattern. I created a, a, knitted up a scarf from a pattern. I got this pattern from Ravelry.com and the pattern is called One Row Chevron Scarf. Um, it's by the Mouse Army Mitten Co. And I will show you the thumbnail so that when you're on Rival and you type in any of those two things to search for this, this is what you'll see. And here is the scarf. So I really like this. It is a chevron pattern, which means uh, it uh, has these changing directions within the pattern that make the um, texture very interesting. And it gives you little um, points within the fabric as well. Like you can do some color work, which I've done here in the ends. I put in four stripes each. Uh, towards the end of the scarf of this navy blue. It's um, six feet long, but you can actually knit it as long or short as you as you wish. It's um, a scarf that I'm sending to my mum for her birthday. So mum, I hope you enjoy that. Um, so I'll talk to you a bit about the journey of this finished item. It uses two different colorways, as you can see. The main color here is the purple and then the contrasting navy blue. So I'll explain to you the exploration on getting that yarn and finding a good match for that yarn with this pattern. A few months back, maybe it was in April sometime, I did a, long, a lot of online shopping because I had nothing in my stash uh, to utilize for any projects. So I visited a couple of sites. One of them was Hirschners.com. And by the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these yarn online companies. And I'm not affiliated with any of the brands that they sell as well within their site. But um, Hirschness.com has a great website for um, surfing for different yarns and this one is a brand called Sundance and Sundance have a series within their collections called Synergy. So I'll just let you have a look at this. This is the main color of my scarf. It's a big variegated wool with different tones of purple. Now each change of purple happen quite short, maybe around 10 to 15 centimeters that it changes, it changes its tone. 
and it's let me tell you a little bit about this wall it's 70% uh, acrylic 30% wool and it's 50 grams in each skein uh, the yardage is 76 yards or 70 meters the weight of the wool is uh, considered a four which I would agree it's a medium four as you can see there's a little bit of halo on that as well I guess it's from the wool content um, it's a product that is made in China and they recommend you hand wash this no tumble dry and lay flat to dry and also recommending on the ball band is the size US 9 knitting needles or 5.5 millimeters and also a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook so I love the color of this when I was online looking at it I love that it variegated um, having many tones of the of the one color and to create texture but I wasn't sure how it would knit up so with all of my projects before I start them I, I do a little swatch for gauge but also to see how something like a uh, variegated wood wool or yarn would knit up so this is what I had done I disregard the bottom part because that bottom part of the swatch is a mixture of different colors um, which I'll probably use in other videos to explain the wool choices but with this synergy taffy the colorway is called taffy um, we have a knitted up swatch here where the color change variations create a little bit of pulling or stripes you can kind of like see the similar colors that are kind of banding together and creating these uh, stripes or pulls and I wasn't really happy with that so I mean it's a personal choice um, it could be great on some products uh, that you or items that you would create but for me this scarf that I wanted to do I didn't want to have pooling so I did come across the pattern that I suggest uh, that I had already mentioned the one row chevron and what I noticed was the direction changes within a row in the pattern happened within uh, maybe a five centimeter or six stitches um, so I enjoyed the end result a lot more because there wasn't that stripe pulling effect from straight from straight knitting so I really um, felt that that was a great uh, choice for me to go with a pattern with that variegated yarn the second color that I used, the navy blue, I purchased from Hobium. Hobium.com is a online store that sells wool and they're positioned or they're located in Turkey. So this is the, the second contrasting color that I used and it doesn't have a colorway name but it does have a number I'll just show you the number I'm oh, sorry I'll read you the number it's 2154 so a little bit about this gazelle is the brand and boogie is the collection of um, the arm collection and it's a 50 gram ball of, of yarn and that gives you 150 meters or 164 yards they're recommending a needle, a knitting needle size of 4.5 millimeters or a crochet needle or hook of 4.5 millimeters as well. Um, this wool is also hand wash only, lay flat to dry, do not tumble dry. So I think it's because it has the wool content in it, and it does, 
So we have 60% acrylic, 10% polyamide, and 30% wool. So if you look closely at this at this wool, you will see that, um, or the yarn, it, you'll see that it has gold fiber flecks that kind of hang off the, the thread. I don't know whether that is the polyamide, polyamide, so it's probably the polyamide. It creates a little bit of a long halo, like a mohair would, and um, its color is gold. So you kind of like get a nice um, shimmering effect that floats on top of the navy blue. So that one was from Hobium. Along with this yarn, um, I had a few balls of this left over. So I crocheted for the first time um, this beanie, which is one of Crystal Bag o Day, um, that's her channel name by the way, Bag, Bag o Day, um, YouTube channel. And it also lends to the wool's variegation because it has uh, different directions that the, that the uh, needlework or the hookwork does. So we have a couple of, um, I, I don't know what this is called, but it's called, uh, a, a double crochet front posts which in knitting terms kind of reminds me a little bit of ribbing so it has a little bit of directions from uh, a vertical direction and then it has the single crochets through the back loop which gives you the sense of a horizontal uh, striping so it does uh, lend a lot to that variegated complication of pulling as well. Um, so these two items are going to be packed up and shipped to my mother in Australia for her birthday which is at the end of October. So mum I hope you enjoy them and I know in Australia it doesn't get that cold but uh, sometimes, sometimes you do have those strong winds um, in Ju June, July kind of reverse in Australia because winter is in June, July, um, that you might find yourself in need of a scarf and a cap. The second thing that I'm going to talk about today is uh, looking at a yarn haul that I had purchased recently from, for the very first time, from a Seymour. Here is my yarn box from a Seymour. I've opened it already just to check that everything was in there and I'm thrilled with their yarn. So AC Moore has a yarn brand called uh, Stitch Studio. So in the Stitch Studio uh, there are many different um, categories or collections of, of yarn and this one is uh, one of their collections called uh, Studio Classics by Nicole. So I really enjoyed looking online. It was so easy to navigate. And this yarn is super, super soft. So this yarn is 97 acrylic and 3% viscose. 97% acrylic and 3% viscose. I guess the little flax that run through uh, this yarn is the viscose and it's approximately 260 yards or 235 38 meters and the weight of it is four it's a four weight and there are 140 grams in this in this skein they recommend a five millimeter knitting needles or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook it says that you can uh, machine wash it and you can tumble dry it in low heat. Well, that's very, that's great. And the colorway here is uh, cream speckle. 
Oh, cream spec, sorry. So that's that. I got um, four of these because I'm um, going to make a lot of sweaters. And sweaters are my big thing right now. The next one is this one here, also from Studio Classics by Nicole. The colorways Baby Green. It's like their um, their basic one. It's it's just as soft as the other yarn, the cream spec yarn, and it is a larger skein. So we have here a hundred percent acrylic, and this is the the yardage is three hundred and seventy two or three forty meters. It's two hundred grams. Then I went and I saw this being unboxed on a, a number of websites by other YouTubers and I was thrilled to see that this was also online for um, delivery to Canada. This yarn called Studio Stitch Studio by Nicole Earth Tone. Look at the size of that. Holy smokes. There is enough in there for a project. I've got two of these and this might be all I need for the jumper that I'm creating. So I'll tell you a little bit about this one. So we have 95 acrylic and 5% viscose. It's a four weight like the other uh, two skeins that I showed you, the two varieties, and it suggests a uh, five millimeter knitting needle or a five millimeter crochet hook. So I got two of these and I love that color. The color is Auburn. And within that you get, you get over a thousand meters within these two skeins of wool. I also got the same wool, but in the colorway butter squash butternut hang on let me look butternut so that was my uh that was my haul from a seymour i am going to go back and get some more from them once my other sweaters are done but i really like their basic color range within the stitch studio i think that's about it i'm going to finish this video because it's already at 26 minutes and upload it but I hope you enjoy uh, please subscribe if you want to see more and hit that uh, uh, hit that notification button should or bell should you want to be notified of any other videos that are coming up um, and I hope you're having a great day and we'll catch you next time